Managing process safety is a foundational part of Nesta's daily work in operations, requiring safe process design, asset integrity management, and safe operations. The Process Safety Fundamentals, PSFs, focus on ensuring safe operations by handling risks associated with hazardous substances and energy in process operations. The Process Safety Fundamentals aim to help evaluate and address existing operating practices in order to prevent situations that could lead to adverse process safety events. The PSFs are a learning resource for frontline workers, supervisors and leaders in operational environments. Ensure safe isolation. The piping and instrumentation diagram, P and ID, should provide a validated isolation plan at all times. The site documentation should provide a validated isolation plan for the equipment. Safe isolation prevents equipment from leaking and substances from mixing. The core principle is to never rely on a single point of isolation. Should one barrier fail, another needs to be present. Additionally, when using valves as barriers, it is important to prevent them from being accidentally opened. When the equipment design prevents a double barrier, it is important to raise a concern and define how the associated risk can be adequately managed. Empty and de-energize before opening. Line breaking or opening of piping or equipment is the act of breaking the integrity of process piping or equipment. It has the potential for uncontrolled release of trapped pressure or hazardous chemicals. Empty and de-energize before opening process safety fundamental applies when unbolting, unscrewing, drilling or cutting process equipment. Before emptying and depressurizing, isolate the equipment electrically and mechanically according to the work permit and isolation procedures. Plan and carry out depressurization and draining procedures. Before opening, verify that the equipment has been isolated and emptied, pressure indicator is zero, the system is at the ambient temperature and there is no flow. Blockage, leakage or an inconvenient equipment arrangement may prevent safe execution of works. In such situations, verify that the equipment is completely de-energized and emptied. Walk the line to ensure operational readiness. Before taking any process equipment in use, it is critical to ensure they are operationally ready for service. This is relevant, for example, after major maintenance, overhauls or project works. Best way to confirm readiness is to physically inspect the system in the field. This is done by walking the line, which is a way to systematically validate the correct lineup and equipment integrity. When ensuring readiness, it is important to review P and IDs and other documentations and confirm the actual conditions of valves, lines, flanges and drains. Any equipment issues, documentation flaws or challenges running field checks should be addressed before starting the operation. Operate within safe limits. Safe process operations require clear safe limits, such as operating windows that indicate, for example, minimum and maximum surface levels, temperatures, pressures, flow rates and other design values. These are based on the process design and define safety margins for mechanical integrity and process safety. Operating outside safe limits can cause unstable or uncontrollable conditions and compromise process safety either immediately or after an unpredictable period of time. Therefore, it is imperative that safe limits are established and described in operating procedures. Any missing limits or deviations from set limits should always be reported as soon as possible. Report deficiencies on safety critical equipment. Safety critical equipment SCE are in place to prevent accidents from happening or mitigate their consequences. Therefore, a fault in their functionality increases the risk of major accidents. SCE should be identified using process hazard analysis data and classified in the asset register. Inspection, testing, 
and preventive maintenance of SCE need to be carefully planned and carried out. In order to ensure that safety-critical equipment are functioning and effective, it is important to report and investigate any observed deficiencies immediately and fix them as soon as possible. Monitor transfers and open drains. Monitoring is safety critical when performing a temporary transfer that needs to be stopped manually at a certain point or draining a storage tank or other equipment into the atmosphere. Long transfers or draining times increase the likelihood of becoming distracted by other concerns and forgetting monitoring sufficiently. If the monitoring operator is needed elsewhere, the process should be halted and continued only when sufficient monitoring can continue uninterrupted. It is important to identify critical transfer and draining tasks with adequate monitoring arrangements before starting the operation. Manage bypassing of safeguards. A safeguard is any device or system designed to interrupt the chain of events leading to an incident or mitigate the consequences of such an incident. Safeguards are set in place to decrease risks, so bypassing them always implies an increase in risk level. Activities such as testing, startup, shutdown, maintenance, or equipment malfunction may require a temporary bypass of safeguards. Whenever bypassing a safeguard becomes inevitable, confirm that the bypass is adequately authorized and monitored. It is important to keep the bypassing time to a minimum. It is equally important to ensure that necessary temporary risk management measures are in place and communicated to relevant personnel. Identify and manage changes. Every modification to a process plant or procedure, no matter how small, could introduce new hazards or increase existing risks. In this example case, a water injection point was added to a line in order to dissolve salts in the process stream. However, the change was not reviewed properly. The change effects were not assessed, so the corrosion and erosion risks were not taken into account. This led to a major release and explosion. Therefore, it is critical to identify potential changes and ensure they are always evaluated and authorized before implementation. Systematic Management of Change MOC, practices help ensure that the effects and risks of a change are managed. It also includes steps to help ensure that change is communicated and documentation is kept up to date. Control Ignition Sources Minimizing potential ignition sources in hazardous areas reduces the risk of explosions and fires. Therefore, controlling all possible ignition sources is an essential safety precaution. Possible points of ignition include, for example, flames, electricity, hot surfaces, and vehicles. Static electricity discharges or impact sparks can also act as an ignition source. The safest approach is to remove a potential ignition source from the hazardous area or select explosion-protected EX equipment. If this approach is not possible, then sufficient precautions should be taken. Summary Process safety fundamentals have been developed based on real process safety events at NESTE. Thoroughly understanding and utilizing these fundamentals supports safe operations. Only then can we achieve no harm together.